Rise and shine! <laughs> Top of the morning to ya! <laughs> well now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go! You just wait right there. Hey boss, your guests are here. To welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Help us out. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of it. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say, there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds on the clock. Can put a price on anything. Ah, uh -uh. that's guts to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> hey, Creepazoid, what are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. That's right, you just follow me. Or run for it, see how far you get. your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. Hi, Mister. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. 
Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Yeah, I'd say you're looking pretty good. Better win the next one even if it kills me. Having trouble finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. Oh yeah, try the QB collector who's been hanging out down here. I heard he's got some produce. Good luck out there, cutie pie. How come y'all can eat veggies? It ain't fair. This here shop's got Gus's seal of approval. You have fun guessing up that bird of yours. Gus presents the one, the only, desert for a limited time only. If you're in the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. Sorry. 
Great job out there! Ah, oh, don't tell me you're not interested. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dying. But hey, I ain't picky. Pico's been feeling peckish. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. How come y'all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. Good to see you again. How about a photo to commemorate our reunion? The folks down here in the Dust Bowl make for excellent subject. Everyone here is so raw and authentic. Truly spoiled for choice. Let me know if you stumble upon any promising spots around here. Considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? Costumes like these are known to elicit a common effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Bear. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. I look forward to seeing what new discoveries you make in your travel.
Welcome to Beast Battleground. So, you looking for a thrill you won't find anywhere up top? Defeat a few fiends and there could be some fresh new greens in it for ya. No time to celebrate. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. I'll take good care of your bones, if there's any left. Nothing uh, suits the soul. I can't wait to see who gets ripped to shreds today.
people around the prison have been following me to get their burnt sand back to get a couple months you want to do. I'm going to send you a letter and learn to understand a crush down. Maybe you'll give it a try with Greetings, Pico. Greetings, friends, and welcome to my swindling seminar. Today, for the very first time, I will be unveiling the art behind the cult. Are you here to play Queen's Blood? That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstance. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> We're going to regret making you come to life.
You completely demolished me. Well played, good sir. But my performance wasn't half bad. Wouldn't you agree? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention, so maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Want to know my secret to victory? Mm -hmm. Oh, where have you been, handsome? I take it you're here to join me for a drink? Well, aren't you the sweetest little thing? Ugh, you big party pooper. Fine, be that way. Guess we'll play Queen's Blood instead. <laughs> oh no, don't even try to wiggle out of it. Because I'm Mary, darling dear. And when I've knocked a few back, nobody slips through my fingers. So, either you take a drink, or we play a game. Your choice.
Well, shit. You got me good, hot stuff. Should have had more to drink. I have a confession to make. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire ticket to victory, I've kind of been cutting back on the booze. Do you want to know why? A while back, I drank way too much, blacked out in the middle of a match, and had an awful nightmare. I dreamed this creepy stranger was trying to chat me up, which is why this match totally doesn't count. I am still off my game. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced to the max. So watch out, boyo. I mean, I don't hang out with the nicest folks. Never heard of I worked so hard to put this show together, and now no one's gonna let me test it out. What's up? What do you want? Oh, damn, I did it again. Hey, sorry, old habit. No harm, man. Please don't go. I'm begging you. I only want to play a game of Queen's War, I promise, that's all! I have a hard time talking to people and, well, I know I'm not- I can't convince any- Anyway, uh, the name's Jack. You, uh, want to play with me? Pretty please?
<laughs> that was is a great place to let your car down, you know. So I got into the habit of acting stuff and yelling at anyone who looked at me funny. That was say, but it also made good, decent people like you avoid me altogether. Even though I just wanted to play cards. I got so frustrated that no one would give me the time of day that I started to resent the gutsy bastard. <laughs> but I've got to change myself first if I want people to talk to me. Because you had the courage to approach me when no one else did. I know that now. So I'm going to do it like you and ask people to play instead of waiting for them to come to me. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Novalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Wish they'd hurry up and move on already. <laughs> he looks promising. You got it. Just straight ahead. <laughs> Oh, come on. I don't bite. Oh, am I holding you up? You lost or something? <laughs> Nothing interesting over there. Where do you think you're going? It's about time. What? Got a problem? <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you. For man, nothing interested over there. Uh huh. Keep going. And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> It's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. <laughs> yeah! Let's do Let's finish this. You know, you could have just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? <laughs> oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again! Promise! And that makes three. Once Pico's had his fill, he'll be ready to hit the track and win us that race. Welcome to Bale Jumper, watering hole for the dregs of the Dust Bowl. Heard you're in the market for some greens. Maybe. If so, I've got a garden up on the cliff. Everything's yours for the taking. Assuming there's anything to take, I've intended to in ages. Here, go see for yourself. Be sure to keep an eye out for fiends, though. The place is crawling with them. Oh wait, 
right here. Leave the green hunt to you. We don't want to get in the way. Do this fast.
Oh, and again, yeah, my son. Ideally, it'd give Pico an edge and be pleasing to the eye. Our boys want handsome bird, you know. We want equipment that'll accentuate his features. Wrestled up some quality stuff, did ya? Yeah, he's looking a lot better now. But we could get him in great shape with a touch more. Pico's right as rain, and fit to hit the track whenever you are. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Hey, nice find, Merc. more veggies, you know where to find me. Having trouble finding that feed for Pika? Hmm. I did see one of those scam artist lecturers buying veggies the other day. Good luck out there, cutie pie. How come y'all can take this? So, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. That work for you? Say what? <laughs> Fine. You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. How come y'all get to It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up and coming star of the track. And all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. I wonder, though, you win her over with your skills or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition, assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <laughs> Forget him. 
The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that.